and welcome to an extremely wet uh, Efteling. I picked the wrong weekend to come here, but the uh, place looks amazing from what I've seen so far. First visit, um, lots of exciting things to do in here. Um, if it's all open, of course, it could all be shut. Uh, so we're going to go inside and we're going to see what we can uh, get on today. And uh, hopefully get some new credits and uh, get on some of the drag rides. So let's see what we got. Frog. <laughs> Look at all the frogs. <laughs> Look at the frogs! I want to go and see the frogs. <laughs> Fata Morgana, which I guess you could say is comparable to Disney's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. It was an okay ride, nothing spectacular. Uh, a little bit strange in some places. You go through a dude's legs, that's a little weird. Um, and I was expecting some effects that I don't think were running. Um, all in all, not bad. And uh, yeah, we go and walk around the rest of the park in this lovely weather that we're having. Thank you. 
just done a front row ride on both Max and Moritz, it's a dual and family coaster. Um, fun little ride, uh, you go around the track twice in opposing directions, definitely one side's better than the other, uh, the green one which I think is Moritz, uh, but as I say, two extra credits, can't complain, definitely a uh, fun little ride.
just done two rides there. We just did uh, the B&M dive coaster, Baron Achenach and Echenen. That's probably not how you say it. Baron 1898. Um, I'd say that's there's definitely more to it than Oblivion at Alton Towers. Um, there's a lot more theming and a lot more track. The drop though, I'd say it's definitely more intense at Alton Towers. Um, and then we've just come off, you can see in the background there, uh, Python, the Vacoma Looper, um, which since it's been retracted is definitely very, very smooth. So, I don't know what we're going to do next, but the weather is definitely not proven. So, we're trying to get all the outdoor stuff done before it gets too bad.
seconds. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. separate rides there. We did uh, the fire side of the Orison to track, uh, dual and GCI. Um, actually quite a really good ride. Um, I'd say better than Wicker Man, which I guess is the closest I can compare to. Then we did Vogel Rock, which is behind me, uh, indoor dark ride. Um, very dark, as in you can't see anything, but really fun nonetheless. And then we've just come out of Carnival Festival, which gets compared a lot to Small World, I can see why. Same sort of concept, although it's in a Omnimover rather than a boat, and uh, has an equally annoying tune that gets stuck in your head. It has, it's from Fluchter House. It is a melgelijk. The ene vervloekte avond in the Belgische Kempen. The sun stood laag and we sought the bed for the night, but from the dorp there was no spoor. Is the Vacoma Madhouse. It's a prototype Vacoma Madhouse, so some of you might be familiar with Hex in uh, Alton Towers back in the UK. Um, this was the original one. I would say the actual ride itself probably feels better in there, more, I don't want to say intense because it's not, but um, the one criticism, and this is a bit of a stretch, it, the pre-show is very long. 
and it's all in Dutch, which is understandable, we're in the Netherlands, but you're basically there for five, ten minutes with no idea what is going on until you get into the ride. Uh, but the ride itself is really good, uh, it's a prototype that led to many others around the, around the world, so yeah, good little ride. Oh, to wander through the palace of fantasy? No, 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 obey the rules. Think of the regels. Transito, Pulto, Fabulu, Trage Trede, open u. Symbolica, the trackless dark ride. Um, it's very impressive. There's three different tours in there. There's the music, the hero and the treasure tour. We did music, I believe. Um, it's mostly the same. I believe there's 11 rooms in there. Nine are identical and then two are different for every route. Um, so we need to go back in and do the other two uh, when we get back. But yeah, that was really good. I can see why the park paid an extortionate amount of money for that ride. <laughs> Do it, let's meet him.
In Efteling, the weather is looking a lot better today, so fingers crossed we uh, will be able to get to do a lot more things. To be fair, we did manage to get on almost everything yesterday, uh, but as I say, there's no signs of rain. We don't have a full day in the park because we do have to fly home, uh, but we're going to see how many things we can, how many rerides we can do, and get into the fairy tale forest. <laughs> Oh. 
problem oğlum. <gülüyor> start the morning with a ride on Max and Moritz. Um, again we chose the green track which I think is Moritz, definitely the better of the two. Um, I think we're now heading over to Pagode, we didn't do that yesterday so we should get some cracking views now that the weather's a little bit better today. One thing I would say, we, we are uh, staying on site and you get access 30 minutes before the park opens. What's not clear though is that most of the paths are closed and there's big queues. If you are staying on site, when you come in there's a path to the right hand side of the lake which only um, hotel guests can get in. So if you are staying make sure you go around that way and then you'll get into the park before everybody. Else. little relaxing ride especially if you you know want to chill out or if you just had lunch uh, it's quite long it takes about 20 minutes to go all the way around and you get chased by all the ducks in the swans which is slightly terrifying <laughs> we've just been on Vogel Rock twice um, absolutely love that ride I can't see a damn thing but it's really fun um, then went on the teacups what they're called, um, re-themed because it used to be somewhat inappropriate. Then we have had some tea and unfortunately we did go on to go on the pagode which is right behind me there. It looks like it's closed today I assume because it's really windy um, which is annoying because we didn't do it yesterday and we've had left it for today. But we're now heading off to the fairy tale forest because we haven't done that yet. Either.
Oh, ah, mm, yeah, mm, 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 mm. Uh, 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 your birthday soon. May I ask you to come back on your birthday so I can congratulate you in person. I can't really go anywhere myself, you see. <laughs> Many thanks and have a lovely day. Okay, that was pretty cool. Walking past that tree and my kids got very confused because it said my name and that it's my birthday tomorrow. Clearly the app in my pocket, logged in. Very, very nice little touch. <coughs> I definitely confused the kids. Oh. <laughs> what 
Sophie, what was your favourite ride? The boat ride. <laughs> Jesse, what was your favourite ride? <laughs> um, the... I forgot what it's called. Bogo Rock or the Joris and Dragon one? Hannah? Yeah, mine is the same. Callum? Joris and the Dragon. Yeah, I think that's a fairly uh, conclusive I one because. Jack one was my favorite, I just forgot it existed. There you go, that's almost a clean sweep. Everybody says the same thing. So, that's the end of our trip here. Um, day and a half. Probably could have done a little bit more. Um, a lot of people say it's a two day park. There were three rides shut. So, Trimvlucht was shut, Piranha was shut, Vegan de Hollander, Flying Dutchman was shut, um, and they are building a new ride. And we didn't see all of the Fairy Fidale Forest. So, yeah, I think you're coming here plan for two days. Uh, we were kind of lucky yesterday with the bad weather, kind of meant there was no queues. Uh, today was a lot busier. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all later.